<coughs> well, this nice little altar was found nice and early in the excavations, which is a good start. Reused just as a building stone, but it's quite good quality carving, uh, both at the top here and in this area where <coughs> the worshippers could pour some wine or put some incense or whatever they need, needed to do. It's very like the shape of an altar Robin found many years ago now, which is in the museum, an altar to the veterans, and <coughs> it looks very much as if some enterprising sculptor or carver produced these blank altars and then <coughs> people could buy one and put in the dedication to their favourite god themselves. It certainly looks as if the lettering here uh, is slightly DIY. Uh, I mean, it's not too bad, but the N there, for example, in the second line is a bit wonky. And what it says is, at the beginning, Deo, to the god, and then the, the god in question is Apollo, A-P-O-L, another L, I-N-I, -I, in the daisy, to the god Apollo. And then there's a dot there, the, the chap's name, he's called Aprilis, A-P-R-I-L-I-S. April sounds more like a girl's name to us, but it was quite a normal man's name, quite a popular one, <coughs> particularly in the northwestern provinces where this chap probably came from. We do have at least one other Aprilis known to have been at Vindalanda on a stylus tablet, a centurion, but this is probably uh, a bit later. Um, so far so good, to the god Apollo, Aprilis, and then the, the bit at the end saying what he's up to, he's fulfilling his vow, his promise to the god to give him an altar in return for some benefit which he's been praying for. <coughs> well, the normal way they ended their uh, dedications was simply V for votum, a vow, S for solvit, dissolved or paid the vow, and then LM. Well here, um, our friend, our new friend Aprilis has been a little bit more original. Instead of abbreviating votum as just V, he's abbreviated as vote, V-O-T, dot. And then instead of S for solvit, which, I mean, 99% of these altars have that, he's got something different, R-E-T. Well, there is another one from near here, <coughs> the Carabruff, a soldier dedicating there, put ret for retulit, which means something like rendered but the verb referi that it comes from can have about 15 different meanings so he's just he's just being a bit fancy or a bit a bit clever to be di to be different but then we've got l lm at the end and l means means libens meaning uh, willingly or gladly and m for merito means that the god deserved this this um is, is i mean apollo is one of the top gods um, and so there's nothing very surprising about it. What is interesting is that in this part of the world uh, he was identified with a, a, a Celtic uh, original called Maeponas, who we know was worshipped at Vindalanda because there was a, a beautiful um, uh, crescent of silver uh, dedicated to Maeponas. He is known in the Welsh, early Welsh legends as Maben, the son of Modron, uh, a sort of boy god. So that's maybe who Aprilis was really thinking of. We can't be sure. What is also nice is a very large altar found at Whitley Castle where the second cohort of Nervians, which was later at Vindalanda or earlier at Vindalanda rather probably, um, was stationed and it has carvings of Apollo the lyre-playing god, the god of culture, um, in one case also showing him as a sun god. Um, not very good quality, uh, evidently, but still that shows that the Nervians uh, had ideas of, of the traditional god Apollo. Apollo is also known at Bindalanda from um, ex extraordinary silver plaques that were found, all squashed up as if they were going to be melted down, fortunately they weren't. 
Pat managed to reconstruct them and reconstruct them or, or uh, make, make them um, intelligible. And one is certainly showing Apollo. Quite what is going on on the other ones is not entirely clear. Um, Pat reckoned one of the chaps on it was a boxer. Uh, never mind, it, it's something rather high class. So Apollo was known and thought about um, at Vindaland. Quite what century this altar comes from, we can't be sure. Obviously it was reused in the 4th century, by which time people weren't very keen on Apollo. Or, uh, Aprilis had been dead and gone for a very long time. Um, but all in all, it, it's a nice piece of work and deserves a place in the museum.